Hi everyone, welcome back to day two of the uh, preparation work for the new bonsai area. Uh, we really cracked on yesterday as you will have seen from the last video. Um, but if we just nip round now, we can see what we've got to do today. So as we venture round into the area, you'll see that this immediate step, step up which will be coming out, raises us up quite a way. <clears throat> There's then the next little raise that was in, which will be coming out. And then towards the back there, you can see, I think I might have got a bit overexcited and went a little bit deep with the uh, with the digging down. That now is lower than the inspection chamber, which is fine. Um, but I think we certainly don't want to go much lower than that. But when we come into the area and turn around you'll see the decking it's uh, quite a way underneath and there's a lip lipped edge there with the solid part and then the flagstones continue underneath so this morning I think what we're going to do is we're going to get the circular saw and rip straight down that edge and strip out this part of the uh, the decking <clears throat> and I think we're more than likely going to have to lose the uh, the smaller greenhouse so there'll be a lot of moving around of, of stuff from the greenhouse so we'll clear this area clear this part of the decking and then we've got this to level off to make sure that we're uh, we're okay with getting a floor level to work with the wall so this is my eye level <clears throat> and you can see that you can't see over that wall so by the time we've put some timbers across to support the roof and put some anchors on to anchor it down we'll um, we'll be quite a bit higher so we don't need to put any windows across there so that's good so we can crack straight on with putting timbers up there and then a lean-to roof that's my only fun bit there the downpipe that's coming through other than that we can work with the rest of the wall and make sure we finish underneath the um, the sky dish so um, yeah let's crack on and get this uh, this bit sawn up So we're going to go to work on this with the Bosch battery powered circular saw. Uh, ideally I would have liked to have gone that way because the blade would have been closer to that side. But I think with, unless I can start from about here, which I will try, <coughs> we'll get a closer edge to the thing otherwise we're going to have to come the other way and be further in. So let's crack on with that now.
went through really nicely to be fair so we'll get these bits cracked up and then we can start working on this area and then we can make our level based on the inspection point and we'll just have to use some of this to fill back in over there so hopefully we haven't wasted too much effort getting stuff out the top because we do need to level a lot of that off and we'll probably put a step up in front of the inspection chamber so that you come in on the flag level and then we'll step up and go in so we'll have some crush and run uh, we'll put a concrete plinth in that space and then level all that off and make it all nice and good fingers crossed So we've got so far, we're going to have to uh, empty and move the small greenhouse. I was hoping to work around it, but it's too much of an inconvenience being in the way. So we'll go and clear some space in Kay's greenhouse, commandeer a bit of that, uh, and then we'll slowly take this apart and uh, hopefully not damage it too much. Okay, so uh, it's absolutely bounced it down with rain, but that hasn't stopped us. We've um, persevered, me and Inspector Pete here, he's got his high vis on today, so uh, he's safe to be on the, uh, on the building site. Couldn't quite find a hard hat to fit him, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure he'll be fine, and at least with that bright orange harness, I can see where he is. The small greenhouse is now empty and ready to be moved. We've just got to break the two layers apart of the staging and they'll lift out hopefully in one, you know, in two lots of one piece uh, and then we can start breaking the, uh, the small greenhouse down. There is a little matter of the electrics at the back to be, uh, to be removed but uh, I'm sure I can handle that. That shouldn't be an issue for me. Um, but we'll just go and have a quick look down in Kay's greenhouse because I have filled it up. Um, as we go past there's some failures from winter that have just sat and not really done anything. They've died and not, not done anything. The catalpas continue to do well. They're really strong. There's some on the table behind me. Um, we've just got one which was 
that one that rotted and died back. I'm not sure whether uh, his root ship had anything to do with that one. I'm pretty sure he didn't. He's found something there. Let me take that off yet before you do yourself a mischief. The moss garden's doing well there. I've just let that have a bit of air and a bit of um, bit of the rainwater as it's come down. You can see it's uh, got its. You can see the moisture on the side of the tub. So that's all good and there's plenty of water in the bottom so that's going to create its little system keeping the moss damp and thriving hopefully and we'll we'll look from the outside because i've positioned some of these to be visible from the outside and we can see there there's some there's a jade the portula carrier afras looking nice in the window the orange trees needing potting on now more orange trees and then up there is the big orange and the big lemon crown of thorns and some more portula carrier afra it's just starting to rain again so there's a, a dead scots pine there we've managed to in the move we've managed to bring a lot of the pines together down there so the pine forest may take shape Looks like we've got some red bud growing out of that pot where they've died back previously, so we might get a bit of something there. Uh, Delonyx regia that didn't make it. Some more pines in the background there. Lots of jades, lots of the small lemon and the small orange. Yeah. The baby orange seedlings in there and then round up here there's a forest of jades up there some of them have been at the back of the little greenhouse so they haven't done too well you can see the wheat leaves there but uh, as we grow forward they'll uh, they'll come out very nice you can see some really lush deep green leaves on on one of the uh, jades there looking really nice yeah lots of little things going on I'll just show you this red bud before we go back to the little greenhouse. This one did live. And look at all the sub branching, the tertiary branches on there. Um, if I put it up against the door, you'll be able to see that quite a bit better. That is doing really, really well. I think what we'll do is repot that slip pot it into a larger pot. You see there it's the red bud from the botanical bonsai kit but this one has done really well the seed was a good strong seed and it's done fantastic but we need to get this uh, this jade leaf out of there the succulent leaf sorry um, that's planted on there's a weed that we'll pull out but that'll be one of our next little projects to do because that red bud is a success story from the botanical bonsai kit and it will be nice to, to keep that going. You can see there, it died back to a to a branch there, the, the main trunk, and then it's set lots of other branching going. But that's what these have tended to do. They've grown so far, died, sprouted, so far, died, sprouted, and they've done really well. Let's get back in the rain and take that uh, small greenhouse apart. So I've managed to get the roof off <coughs> because I was unable to get the staging out of the door for some reason. It went in but it won't come back out. So what I'm going to do is take it up and over the uh, roof level of the greenhouse and it just added to the reasons for breaking it down and getting it out of the way.
lift it up and over because I'm going to be taking the frames down. I thought they would come after, but let's crack on. Just about enough power to do the last screw.
So I'll have to lift this base up and slide it away. It is screwed to the base from the top as we look at it now, but it's also bolted together the frame and uh, I don't think I'm ever really going to get that back out. So uh, we'll just collect up all the screws. I think this is the last one actually. See somewhere safe. No longer reach this wall. And let's see if we can uh, lift this thing. The base has come away, so we'll just pull it towards us and slide this bit away. It's very heavy, I'll have to probably wait for it to dry out. Good solid tip with that, I'm sure I'll be able to use that for something. So all we've got left now is this decking and the framework. So I'm just going to have to make my mind up whether I'm going to pull the decking off or whether I'm just going to try and lift the whole frame as one. I'm trying to be sensible, I think I'd better take each strip off. I don't think I've got it in me at the moment to do any better than that. with this until it's gone so we'll just have a quick look round at what we've been up to we've got all the decking pieces off and flipped the decking on its side we've broken most of that off uh, but myself and Pete are a bit spent at the moment aren't we Pete hey. Pete's absolutely covered in all the muck from underneath the decking because he was investigating what was underneath I wish he hadn't because there was a lot of broken glass under there and lucky enough he's not uh, hurt himself so I think we'll take him inside get him cleaned up and that can be Pete's investigations for the day until we get all this glass uh, scraped up cleaned up and, and put away and made it safe for him to be out here Pete come on this way this side so a little bit further to go it's hard to believe that this space is going to be uh, the bonsai studio, but it's the only thing that's keeping me going. Pete's thoroughly enjoying himself out here. I wish I could say the same, but like I say, the um, the dream of what it's going to be is is what's keeping me going. So uh, we'll get all that levelled off at the back. We'll probably put a a wedge in in front of that concrete level in front of the inspection chamber, and then that'll be a step up, and then our final level will be that inspection chamber level so we're edging towards the end of day two let's have a look and see where we're at 
as you can see the decking totally gone and we've got it all the way to the back we've exposed the flagstones that were underneath we've got the chamber I've managed to clean around the chamber just to make it as good as possible and uh, we'll probably make that a step up at this level so we'll run a piece of timber across there and create a concrete plinth or something to to separate the, the steps and then we'll flatten out the rest of that it is still a little bit high in places at the back uh, but with what we got rid of yesterday we should be able to flatten it and uh, smooth it all down and come up with a nice finish there's all this to come out from the side uh, we will chamfer that up and put a concrete level across just to help support the the footings of the wall but the wall is all the way up there now now all of a sudden one one day I was looking over it and now I'm dwarfed by it so yeah I wonder what day three will bring that's the base for the uh, the small greenhouse that I think I seen its last days here at let's do bonsai I think we'll pass that on to somebody who can get some use out of it so that's it for today then probably we may get a couple of little rubble runs but not too much more so have a great rest of the day make the best of it and uh, if you do go outside please you know wear a mask and do all the right things social distance i know there's been some idiots out there you know that are supposed to be looking after us and having the best for us that have made us mistrust them but the message is still true you know let's let's look after each other forget uh, the issues that we've got out there with um, certain people doing certain silly things and uh, yeah go out there be respectful to others be kind to others animals and the planet and as always see you again on the next one